Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to make your character move and jump in your Android Unity game using UI buttons. Scripts and art assets are available by the links in the description. First create new scene, save it and add it to your build. Next go to Assets menu section and import new package which is cross-platform input. Hit import. Done. Now let's fill our scene with game objects. Add a background, add grass, set its order and layer to 5 so it's rendered in front of the background, add a box collider to the grass, edit it like so. Duplicate grass game object and position its clone so we got this continuous ground. Add a character which is cat. Set its order and layer to 4 so it surrender it behind the grass. Add a circle collider to the cat. Add it and position it at the bottom of the cat sprite. Like that. Add rigid body to the component to cat. Set gravity scale to 2, collision detection to continuous. And freeze its Z rotation. Our character needs a script. Here it is. It is commented so there mustn't be any problem to figure it out. Add this script to cat game object. Add an obstacle to jump over which is rock. Set order and layer to 3. Place it somewhere in the middle. Add edge collider. Edit it so it outlines rock edges. Like that. Create new UI canvas. Set its scale mode to scale with screen size. Right click on canvas and create new UI button. Drag and drop button's sprite into its source image slot. Set width and height. Then duplicate this button twice. First button will be move left button. I name it left button. Set its text to left. Set font size and color. Then position this button to left bottom holding Alt plus Shift keys. Next button is move right button. Modify its text component. Position this button to the bottom left with some offset to the right. Third button is jump button. Position it to the bottom right and modify its text component. After that, proceed to standard assets cross-platform input, expand scripts folder and drag and drop axis touch button script to left button. Select left button. 
Here is a script we've attached. Button now represents horizontal axis. Axis value should be negative 1 as it's move left button. Also set response and return to center speed to some grid values so button responses more properly. Right button needs the same script. Drag and drop axis touch button script to right button. Axis name is horizontal 2. Leave axis value as positive 1. Modify response and return speed values. Jump button needs another script, which is button handler script. Drag and drop it into jump button. Make sure jump button is selected, go to its button handler script and give this button a name as jump. To make this work, we need to add another one component, which is event trigger. In this script, hit add new event type button and select pointer down event. Hit plus, select jump button and add a function from its button handler script, which is set down state. Add new event type, which is pointer up this time. Here we only need to change a function for this event, which will be set up state. Everything is done, let's see how it works on Android device. We can move left and right and jump over the stone. Hope you like this video, thank you for watching, see you next time.